Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one and it's a boy box. It's a box for boys and it's a birthday box. So this one's made with Calypso Coral and a brand new stamp set called Around the Corner, which I really love because it goes around the corner. And I wanted to do a boy box because I live in a house full of men. Four sons, one husband. I do have three female cats though. So I'm doing a boy version. Now at the time I made the prototype, I didn't have any of the new colours and I do now. So we're gonna do a little experiment and see what soft sea foam, oh, it's such a gorgeous colour, looks like with a couple of other colours over the top. Now I do have this little special treat that was given to me by the home office, by the corporate team. So this is soft sea foam. And I was considering putting mint macaron over the top. So that's those two colours. But I don't have a ribbon in either of those. And I do in pear pizzazz. And I'm wondering if that might be better. So let's move those out of the way. Pear pizzazz and soft sea foam. But we'll do a little bit of stamping and see what happens. But first, we're going to make the box. So envelope punch board piece of cardstock that is 8 by 8 inches, 20 by 20 centimetres and on the first side you're going to punch it at three and a half, no you're not, you're going to punch it, punch it at three and score it which is seven and a half centimetres and then slide it up to four and a half inches which is eleven and a half centimetres and it's a good treat box that's what I'm going with. Okay, and then you use these scored lines and you line them up with here and it actually says score guide there. So you line them up with that and that's what you then do your subsequent punch and scoring element with. So it's just the first side that you need to set your measurements. Okay. It's quite heavy going through cardstock. I do love this new colour. I have I have to say, I have it on my shelves and I have to double check. Have I picked up mint macaron or have I picked up soft sea foam? Nope, soft sea foam, we're all good. Okay, and then round the corners. Okay, and we're done with that. So you do need to stamp, but you need to cut first. So fold your score lines over. And we'll do the stamping, but you need to get this bit in place first before you need before you know where you're stamping, otherwise it gets a little bit confusing. Okay, and it's slightly rectangular the box. You can see it's got a wide, um, very slightly wider you can see the inside part so it is very slightly rectangular so when you've got this wider triangle facing you cut up there and there and the same on the opposite side Ooh, my scissors are grubby oh to get those cleaned up um <laughs> i've lost myself there we go i have a little boy who is so into crafting right now. This is Jacob. He's nine and so into crafting um, and doesn't understand that these are mummy's good scissors. Right, so when you fold it over, we're going to glue that bit to there and that's going to tuck on the inside. So we're going to put a pattern on this part here and here and on the centre of there. If I bring in my original, so pattern on here going around the corner like that and it is magnetic closing so it goes around there and on this bit which is all going to get tucked away and on that bit so it's going to go there and that's the it's your birthday but I want to see what these colours look like so I have that's um, I'd say it's a piece of scrap but it's actually quite a big piece that's what's left over after cutting down and I've got my stamping scrub just to one side so um, what did I want I wanted so I've got mint macaron, I've got soft sea foam, and pear pizzazz was the other colour I was going to think of. So let's just, um, I'm going to get smaller stamps and some little blocks and see what the colours look like. So, one of them, 
one of them and I need another small block this is the baby block this is an A and I want a fairly solid one that one there and we'll see what they all look like so soft sea foam and I'll just tuck my finger in there so that's tone on tone quite nice mint macaron which was my first thought when I was looking at the cardstocks sat together also quite nice and then pear pizzazz which is the ribbon I've got and yeah it's going to be pear pizzazz isn't it so I'm just I, you know, obviously it's not live so you can't tell me your opinions and thoughts but let me bring them up so that you can see oh come on focus there we go so that's um soft sea foam mint macaron pear pizzazz and yes it's going to be the pear pizzazz isn't it okay so let me give it the camera something to focus on and take it off auto focus there we go right i've lost my stamps now oh they <laughs> stuck to the bottom of my ink pad right so i want my lo my lovely little swirly bits going around the corner and a reasonable size block now because they're photopolymer they are bendy so i find can you hear my husband grinding he's <laughs> building a motorbike downstairs because they're photopolymer they can bend which is great if you want that look but if you put it on your grid paper and let it relax back into place then pick it up i'm gonna have to stop and think how to open these ink pads now aren't i because i'm <laughs> because i'm using two styles well i was okay so this will go round a corner just beautifully let me try not to get my head in the camera Oh, so pretty. And then I want to do this one as well. Okay, so those are the two bits that are going to go in, and this one's going to come up, so I need to do that one too. And um, let me look at the patterns I've got. I went with that one last time. Um, I might do party hats. I'm just going to scatter a load of party hats. Oh, I need a small block. Right, I've got my stamping scrub to one side. That's a good job. There's my party hats. And just randomly scatter. Now they will, some of them will be hidden. Um, and normally I say things like, you know, make sure you go off the bottom of the page, but I'm not worried. There we go. So let's have a look and see what that looks like when it's going to be closed up. So as I said, that's going to go on the inside and that will be outside. Yeah, that'll be good because that will get covered up. I might need another one down there. Hmm. There we go. And then the final bit. So we're all closing up like this. The final bit is the bit that's going to come over. And that is the one that says... Well, I went with this one, it's your day, because that swirl matches that. And I'm wondering whether to go with that. No, I think that's a bit too chunky. <laughs> I don't know what on earth he's doing down there? He's building a motorbike. He's got an old, a really old motorbike, and he's building it up pretty much from scratch. Do I put hello? There? No, I'm going to go with it's your day. And again, the same as before. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Let it relax on your grid paper first and then pick it up I'm just going to test yeah that's fine and here we go and around the corner it's your day yay I think the next birthday we've got in the house is going to be Luke's and I'm going to put a little hat there it's going to be Luke's and he will be 13 at the end of July. So a while away, but I've got nieces and nephews and baby showers because I've got another niece on the way. All go here. Okay, right. So it opens and closes like that. So you can see I'm just going to put glue on this bit 
for now. And then you want some glue on that bit because that's going to stick over. So just on the on the lower edge. So not all the way round, just on the lower diagonal edge. And bring that one up and stick it down. And the same there. Okay, so that's the first bit. And then When they meet in the middle, you know you're in the right place. There we go. So I'm just going to pop... Oh. <laughs> when they meet in the middle, they pop back open. There we go. And close it up just like that. Oh, they met in the middle and didn't stick. Oh. Okay, and then we need a couple of magnets. So I've got brand new magnets in because I ran out. So I've got two of those, neodymium 8mm by 1mm, some mini glue dots, and then the scrap of paper that I did have, there it is, we're going to use the little half inch circle punch, two of those, and a paper piercer. So first thing you do is you pick up a glue dot on your paper piercer and onto one of the magnets, and it's actually here you want to get it in place okay and push really firmly another glue dot oops and one of the circles put that over the top and it takes out some of the power in the magnet and I'm pushing really firmly grab your other magnet and make sure that your poles are the right way round so snap it on there glue dot on, close up your box and it catches enough that you can then push really firmly another glue dot onto there over the top and again like I say it's taking out some of the power of those magnets and that will snap shut and what have I done wrong I think I've I should have overlapped slightly I should have overlapped Ugh. overlap don't let it meet in the middle okay and then my pair pizzazz ribbon lovely shimmer ribbon just really for decoration purposes it's not actually serving a purpose but decoration purposes are always good and my grubby yucky scissors off into a square knot because it's for well this one's for a boy you could do this in designer series paper with no problem and it would be lovely but actually what I wanted to do was use the around the corner stamps I got them for free when I was on stage Stampin' Up! gives us loads of free stamps and those were mine and trim off the end a little bit I do want it quite long and there we go. So yeah, I'm a bit yeah, they should have overlapped slightly. My mistake. Learn from my mistakes. But there we go. What do you think? Hope you like it. Thank you ever so much for joining me. I do like the pair of on the soft sea foam. Lovely pairing. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.